Hello, my friends. Welcome to Ian's Kitchen, my kitchen, where together we're going to do some food magic and a little bit of alchemy. Today we're making herb oil. You can do this with all kinds of herbs and it looks like a bit of a setup. You know, I've, I've got a lot of equipment here, but it should keep for a while if you do it this way. So that's why we're making the herb oil in this way. What is herb oil good for? You can drip it into preparations, sauces, soups, dishes, use it as a decoration or even as a flavoring. So herb oils are very, very, very versatile depending on what kind of herb you use. What do we have here? We have some boiling water which is heavily salted. Why is it heavily salted? Because number one, herbs are usually in contact with bacteria from the ground. Mainly the one that we're thinking about is Clost Clostridium botulinum. That's a very, very dangerous bacteria. So we want to make sure that the herb oil that we're going to use is not going to make anybody sick. Heavily salted water and our herbs. And this is where our stocks come into play. From a previous video, which you can link up to here, I told you how you have to chop herbs. And I told you not to throw the stocks away. Now this is why. We're going to put the stocks in first into this heavily salted water. And then the leaves. So what's happening here is you are lightly cooking all of your herbs. But one thing that's going to happen, number one, the bacteria are dying off. Number two, the salt in the water is helping uh, to keep the development of the bacteria away. And number three, when you have it like this, the color is going to intensify. That's why it's super, super, super important that you don't overcook your herbs. This is a process which in professional kitchen language is called blanching. And what does it consist of? Well, you take your herbs before they start getting too dark and too cooked and you put them into ice cold water. The ice cold water stops the cooking process. You can see some of the color at the same time has leached into the cooking water. That's not a problem. So, into the ice cold water there. That's going to stop the cooking process. And you've got a nice mixture here of leaves and stalks. And why do I like to use leaves and stalks together? Well, one of them is very good for color and the other is very good for taste. The leaves being good for color and the stalks being amazing for taste. So, you can see now that the water has stopped the cooking process. The water is ice cold, so that's going to go pretty quickly. And we've got the beautiful green parsley here. But we don't want all this water inside our herb oil. So the next thing we're going to do is dry off the parsley. Now you can do this in a centrifuge. You can do it in many ways. Today, since we're not making that big of a quantity, I'm going to put it on some kitchen paper. Now, by the way, the blanching water, which I still have over there, you can use for different things as well. You can use it to blanch or cook different ingredients to make, for example, a uh, pickling liquid, which will already have some parsley taste. You just need to add the rest of your ingredients. So it's very versatile. You know, don't actually need to throw it away. So let's make sure that our parsley is nicely dried. Take out as much water as possible. There you go. It's nicely dried. Very nice. Once you've got your parsley in your blender, you can start slowly adding the oil while you blend. Please don't forget to put the cover on. If not, you're going to paint the roof. And I tell you, that's happened to me a few times. Not a fun experience. So, add your oil and start blending slowly. All right. I hope somebody fast, fast forwarded that. If not, you had to wait for a long time. But what you can see here is that we have a homogeneous green, beautifully colored mixture. Towards the end of the process, I have my trusty sea salt and white pepper mixture. 
which I'm using here. The salt is going to help conserve the oil as well. And of course, flavor it, salt and pepper. And the reason we use white pepper is, as I have said in previous videos, because you don't want some dark spots destroying the beautiful color you just achieved, do you? So, blend it in again. And now you have a very, very good raw version of green herb oil, which you could use the way it is. But we chefs, we like to do things go the extra mile. The reason I do that is to get this as homogeneous and as aesthetic as possible. So we're going to remove all those parsley pieces, leaving the clean herb oil. Take a nice clean ladle and you start getting your oil through the cloth and through the chinoise. And you can see what comes out on the other side is quite, quite beautiful. This is going to start thickening, in a thickening up quite quickly. You can add a little bit of oil to help the chlorophyll through. Because we do have a lot of parsley in this mixture. Now this is going to take some time. To speed it up, you can actually use the cloth and start pressing out ever so gently because you don't want the oil mixture coming out the sides. So you lift your cloth like so. You make sure you close it like you would a package. All right. So you have your oil and parsley package. Give it a little twist and then start pressing while you're moving it around, making it dance the Macarena. Baila tu cuerpo alegría Macarena, que tu cuerpo para dar la alegría cosa buena. Baila tu cuerpo alegría Macarena, eh Macarena. And look at this. There you've got that beautiful, deep colored parsley oil. If you wanted, you could have put garlic in this as well. You could have put chili. You are the maker of your oil and your imagination is the only thing that sets the limits, right? And when you're done pressing out the oil from this mixture, whatever parsley is left inside the, uh, the rag, you can actually use to color other things, like bread, for example. Make a bread dough with this, with some olives. Actually, I think I'm gonna make a video with that, so stay tuned for that. <laughs> parsley bread with olives in it. So, I've taken as much as I want. Now I'm pressing out water, as you can see, because it's separating. I don't want all that water. If you force yourself to work clean and organized, eventually everything is gonna be so much, so much easier because you're gonna know exactly what's going on, what has to go on where. It's called what we chefs call mise en place. And that's another video which I'm going to make in the future. You're gonna learn all of it in this kitchen. And look at that beautiful color. See that? There's a little bit of water on the top, which we can take away, but otherwise, it's a beautiful herb oil. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Hey, watch it. I'm frying here. How about you like, comment, and subscribe? Be a good boy. Or I might just come over to your house and break your shell. Capiche?